In today's video, we'll show you how to use frames in Canva. Welcome to the show, here's the host, it's Annie Talks. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of How To with Annie Talks. I'm your host, Annie Rivera, and in today's video, we'll show you how to use frames in Canva. Frames are a perfect way to enhance a photo or image. Now, if you're brand new to any photo editing software or Photoshop, or you struggle with it, or you're intimidated by it, no worries. You can use Canva to create your beautiful graphic designs, whether it be in digital marketing, social media marketing, or just about anything. Canva is the perfect option for you. Now, before we get started, if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, I welcome you to hit subscribe down below. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that anytime we upload a new video you'll be notified so now let's get started with how to use frames in Canva okay I like to start with a blank canvas what I like to do is click on the more and you can see all the different layouts and I, I use a lot of social media or do a lot of social media so I like the 800 by 800 once that comes up you'll have a blank canvas Okay, so here's a blank canvas. So you'll click on elements, which is the second from the top here, and then you'll click on frames. Now you can use these pre-designed templates or layouts. I think these are all beautiful and awesome. And uh, for this purpose, I'm going to actually use a tablet. So I'll click on this little tablet here. Perfect. Now you'll see that it, um, the four corners or the four handles are visible and you can just click and uh, stretch it open to however large you want to make the frame or however big you want to make the frame. Now here is where the image is going to go inside. So we're going to go upload a photo. Once you find the photo, just if you click on it, if you click on it directly, one click, you'll see that all it would do is just puts the photo or lays the photo right on top of the frame and that's not what you want. So we're gonna delete that. This time we're gonna click and drag it right into the frame, perfect. And it just proportions it perfectly for you. Now, if you say you don't like the way it looks, it's not centered correctly, you wanna get rid of some of all this noise, so you click on crop, or I'm gonna show you a another way to get out of there, or to click in it, you can actually double click it in the middle, and it will do the same concept, it'll open up the crop tool. Use the four corners again to stretch them out, and you can, uh, enlarge it a little bit better. Now, keep in mind, the frame is grayed out in the background just to, as a guideline, so to help you, you know, position your photo better. Now, let's say I still don't want, I still don't like the way it looks. Maybe I want it a little bit more centered. I wanted maybe some of the other background stuff out of the way. I wanted, um, you know, just want to highlight just maybe the on air sign in this case, or, you know, just wanted to get it centered. So here's what you do. And next you click on the okay, which is the check mark. And there you go, you guys, it's all perfect. The image is in the frame the way you want it. And you can use this little rotate button if you wanted to rotate the frame and give it more of a dramatic look or a little tilted look. Now, let's say you don't want this frame and you want to choose a different frame, maybe it's not what you wanted, you click on the trash can here and you click the delete elements. You could delete the photo if you wanted to. And let's say I want to use a different frame instead. Uh, let's see, I'm going to choose this frame here. And you could change the color. Uh, you can change the color, by the way, you can change it from that turquoise to um, a different color. You just click on the color palette up at the top. Now, let's say I choose a small photo. Again, remember, if you click on the photo once, it'll just lay the image on top of the frame, and that's not what you want. So you'll delete that. Instead, you'll click and drag the photo and let go. 
Voila, there it is again, you guys. Wow, magic. Okay, so remember you can crop it by either clicking on the check mark up at the top or double click in the middle, stretch the handles like you can see here, position the photo or the image, you know, a little bit more centered or, you know, if you wanted to do, a, um, you know, rule of thirds, however way you want to do it, you could just position the photo where you'd like it. If you like it there and it's perfect the way you want it, then remember to click on the check mark, the OK, and there you go. This is how you use frames in Canva. Well, that's it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to use frames in Canva. This is part of a series on the How To with Annie Talks. If you enjoyed this video, I welcome you to leave a comment down below. Let me know if you use Canva or how you use Canva or if you found this tutorial helpful. Now, if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, I welcome you to hit the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that anytime we upload a new new video, you'll be notified. I also welcome you to listen to the Annie Talks podcast. You can find it on Anchor, iTunes, iHeartRadio, Spotify, or just about anywhere you listen to podcasts. Thank you all again so much for tuning in and we'll see you in my next video.